Oh, that's so sweet. A good massage. I really don't like to be touched, to be honest. You love to be touched. I hate being touched. You hate even getting hugs. Like, I don't even like to cuddle. You hate it. I hate it. You hate the morning after. I'm just saying move. <laughs> get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, mostly get out. But mostly leave. Mostly move. I was browsing on the interwebs. And I read this article, you and like Kim Kardashian, you're both wearing this really, really bomb black lace Laquan Smith situation, but it's the first time that like a female celebrity is being compared outfit wise to a male celebrity. Like it's about fashion, like fashion knows no bounds. And remember I told you about that Vogue article about how women's wear on men is not just a gimmick anymore. It's something that's, it's a force to be reckoned with. If you are a, consider yourself like a fashion forward man, yes. or like you are incorporating women's wear. You're dabbling. You're dabbling. You're like, going. Whether it's a coat or a denim. Yeah, there's no way you're walking through the you're third floor and you're passing all those designers to get to that you're men's section. Yeah, exactly. And you're not looking you're at that Celine, Celine coat. coat. If it's right. bomb fashion and it's in right now and that's what's, that's what it's going on, it's going to be on us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Please. If Ricardo's making a bomb gown, listen, I want to wear that gown too. <laughs> and you uh, absolutely can. And what's and to you say I can? Could. And no one says that you can. Thank you. I don't really care that I'm being compared to female celebrities. I think it's, you know, it's an honor. You know, like, I wouldn't want to be compared to, like, some random man who's wearing a tuxedo and I'm, in, you know, in some lace jumpsuit. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But I read all the comments and people are still like, he's transitioning, he's doing the most because he's in the same outfit that Kim wore. You put on a dress as a man, yeah. you obviously want to be a woman. Yeah, I think a lot of people think that it's in your mind, but what they don't understand is that it's kind of in the shopping bag. Right, and then also, like, I was generally interested to talk about what it means to actually transition. Exactly. Like, if you're going to take that leap or that step, yeah. what's going on mentally mm -hmm. that's telling you, exactly. this is what I need to do? Because I don't feel that way. Exactly, and even though we both will show up and we dress really feminine, like, I'm sure there's a deeper meaning to why that's going on, or, like, why we feel comfortable like that, or what's going on there. I've always mixed men's and women's fashion, but I never thought that it would raise so many questions about my own gender. So with all of these newfound questions, I think that I want to go talk to a therapist and find out how to properly answer those questions. I'm going to New York to take my career to the next level. This is not a situation where you can buy your way in. It's gonna get a little ratchet, so hold on. Watch EJ NYC, only on E!